Ruth here, and this is the Harry Potter resin subscription box from Sophie and Tothy, as you can see. But I decided to open it close to the time when I was ready to start making things, you know, getting all the uh, health and safety stuff, like masks, goggles, gloves, and everything. So uh, this arrived around March-ish. And it's, I'm not saying what the month is because I don't know, if, I think I'm uploading this in October, maybe, not sure. <laughs> so, this is the first one. I do have the second one, which will be in a different video, but uh, this is Hogwarts Handicraft Collection License to Tofi, uh, Tofi, Sofi and Toffee. You find them at sophintoffee.com. Not sponsored or affiliated, I don't think. So, this is a lovely box. Just look at this box. It's. I make sure show you the actual box. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. Blue. It's got a yellow wrapping pa uh, tissue paper. And it's got Hogwarts houses up there. It also has um, Hogwarts cup. So there's locket and acceptance letter. And obviously Hogwarts. Okay. So yeah, that's what else has on there. Let me just put this down. I just like I like the magnetic clothes. It's just listen. Awesome. But my get batteries flashing. I'm gonna change that first. So we're right back. All right. So Jam-packed, that's what it is. So we've got a uh, little booklet here. So I guess I'll just put that off back there. Here's a booklet. It's got what's inside. And it's got tutorials and inspiration. It's got the resin measurements of how much resin per mold. It's got instructions, you know, for epoxy resin. It's got how to fill when you're doing the, the wax stamp bit. Shows how to use it, you know. Very handy. Make sure after pouring the epoxy resin, sure to scrub off the extra bits for the uh, cross stitch um, molds. It's got some cross stitch templates in here as well for the the circles the, the sweaters and the bookmarks oh that's a cute dolly and the other one you think And 
Okay, so what's in this box? We shall go through. It's got the. <laughs> okay, first step we'll just please handle with care. Of course, it's got the uh, the needles for uh, the cross stitch thing. It's got the magnets, I believe, that are in here. Very strong magnets. So that's that. Strong magnets times seven. Needle times two. <laughs> and we've got ooh, the four house colors for the uh, four wax sticks. Let's see, we've got Sophie Toffee Morandi Pigment Dye times two. So yellow in 10 milliliters and a orange also in 10 milliliters. We have the cross stitch thread. So many colors. Got the multicolored pastel looking one, that's pretty. And you got the yellow, red, green, and blue, black, white, and a gold one. Very lovely. <coughs> and then next up we have the open bezel charms times four. So we've got the tie. A jumper with a scarf. Yeah, this way. <gasps> that way. Um, we've got a scarf on its own. Be handy if I actually put it in the screen. And we've got a H jumper. Okay, we've got the four. The video on dark was cloud cover. Let's see. Is that better? I don't know if it makes any difference. Oh, sun's out again. Yeah. Alright. Um, we have four. What's the word? Wax seal the stamp part mold. Not the handle. We got a Hogwarts crest, an owl, this is owl post on it as well, the sorting hat, and a mischief managed with two footprints. So that's those. Next up, oh, not four, six. The star, and a Ministry of Magic thing? A logo? I think that is. We have the circle, the cross stitch pattern mold. Um, here's the jumper mold for the cross stitch.
here's an ornament. And a cross stitch wall. And the bookmark one. Next up, we've got some design film, it says. So you could, like, put it in. Put it in, I don't know. Well, obviously it's for resin, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yes. Um, here we have UV resin for use with cell phone molds. 25 grams. Here is semi hard to prevent shrinkage. Can be used with small molds. Warping after curing is minimized. It's got instructions and cautions on the side of the box. Of course. So then. Um, we got two bigger bottles of uh, 50 grams for a part A and part B epoxy resin. Yeah, uh, so a total of 100 grams, obviously it's a one to one ratio on these things. Ah, and then we have red and green chunky glitter. That's nice. Though for some reason on the on the uh, picture it's a uh, kind of pinky red and blue. But I'm fine with that. I mean it could be blue as well. I mean it's a greeny blue kind of. Or it's just green and I can't see anything. But it looks green to me and it looks blue sometimes too, but mainly green. <laughs> and then, yes, the last thing. Is the handle for the wax stamp mold. Because of wax seal set molds, is what it says. So that's everything in here. It's got quite a few things. I believe they say they include resin for uh, to complete the project at least one. Well, once, not at least. It should be at least once. But anyway, um. Yes. Well, so you only need 30 grams for a wax stamp, and you only need 10 grams per seal on the stamp part. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90. Well, if you only do it with epoxy, You'll, it's a hundred there and it's, uh, what is it, 25 here. For the UV is 25. So it's got 125. So 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Yeah. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100 10, 120, yeah, 125. That's, if you don't mess up, it, 
125 is the max you need for each thing. Very nicely counted out. So, yes. So, I don't know when I'll start this. But we shall see. This is exciting. Not sure how I'm going to take a picture of this. So I don't know if I'm going to put a clip. Because I think it would be a bit difficult as a newbie to try and record me doing stuff. But uh, we'll see if there's any pictures of any completed projects at the end of the video. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. So, thank you for watching. Like, stuff more. Ring the door for notifications. Over and out.